over there, but to Bolong, you can learn how to surf. If you pros, you can surf here. Hey! <laughs> all good, all good. Have a good day. <laughs> The ocean is really beautiful for me. I spend my day, whole day in the ocean. Every, since, since little kids, when I went to the ocean, I feel like more calm, more happy. If you want to, let's say, clear your soul, you can just come to the oceans and do some ceremony and you can clear your body in, in Balinese way. So it's really holy place for me. So that's why I just try to take care of the ocean as much as I could. I'm Noah and I'm surf teacher in Changu Bali. Born and raised here, 24 years old. And welcome to my journey. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> Let's go! Growing up in Bali was really amazing for me. The place, the landscape, the, the traditions, cultures, people here are so respectful. Really glad to born here. My biggest goal is to introduce to the people that surfing is not dangerous. Surfing is a, it's a fun sport that you can do in Changwe, especially in Bali. So that's why I try to make surfing bigger than before. Is this your board? <laughs> no board. It's not mine. No? It's someone. <laughs> so I started my business, CN Surf Bali, a year ago when it was COVID. It was no one here and pretty bad situation for us. So we couldn't earn money. One of my brothers, Sodok, told me that we should make something new. We should survive on this situation. Try to learn from YouTube, from internet, how to find any small opportunity to just survive in the, in the tough conditions. Since that time, I learned how to optimize places on the internet. My team were five. Me, my brother Sodok, uh, Dodi, Nova, and Mura. Basically, they were my friends, my homies. We grew up since we little kids, we served together. They have good attitude, so that's why I picked them up to become my team. Teaching people how to surf is challenging, fun, everything together. It's just a complete feeling for me. So you're not only teaching how to surf, we try to know them uh, more. When we know each other more, they're gonna be more relaxed. So they're gonna be more confident to us. So it's not only surfing, it's also feeling. Let's say if we throw a trash in the mountain, it will end up in the ocean, and in the ocean will bring it to us. So if we do good things, the ocean will do good things to us. When I surf, uh, there's like uh, a trash floating away. I've tried to took it as much as I could. So probably that's the small thing that I can do right now. But uh, probably in the future, I can do the big things. So this is my favorite surfboard. I bought around two years ago. Still pretty good conditions. Uh, still strong, fast. My business changed my life. I have to say pretty much because I earn not that much money, but I, I can survive now. So I'm really glad to have this job because it seems to me I do not work because I'm having fun surfing. That's why I feel like uh, the, the, the time goes so fast when I surf. So I'm really glad to have this job. Still learning about the wave also, never stop learning. The thing that I would like to do in the future is probably snowboarding and go any other country. Snowboarding probably Japan or somewhere in Europe. And surfing probably 
any tropical place as well, like Fiji or Hawaii. Maybe someday, hopefully. My dream, probably introduce surfing more to other people because teaching them how to surf would make they love with the ocean. And as long as they love with the ocean, they, they will take care of it. So that, that's why I try to do surf school. With, with their love with the ocean, they will take care of it. So I think it will help to protect the ocean. Can you watch the board a little more? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw my opportunity here. 